Oh. Oh, are you all right? Don't worry about me. How's Jason doing? He's still critical. AJ? This is a nightmare. This is the worst nightmare of my life. Of all our lives. What happened to you? We were so worried. See, that's why Ned and Jason went after you. Uh, I was walking down by the gardens, and um, I wound up outside the gatehouse. I remember I wasn't feeling well, and I figured maybe, um, maybe I'd go see Lois. I forgot she was in Argentina. And I wound up crashing on the couch in there, and that's where Ned found me this morning. Well, Ned feels so guilty about this. Yeah, Ned's... Ned's with grandmother right now. He wanted to maybe stay with her a while and see, see if he couldn't get a couple hours of sleep before coming back here. Well, I'm glad he's with her. Uh, can I go in? Of course. I didn't know. I. It's... Jason, please, God, wake up. Please. Is there anything that I can do for him or for any of you? Thank you, Justice. I. Just your prayers. I'll call Granny May. Yeah, would you? She wanted to be here. One of the babies came down with the measles, and she felt she couldn't leave. I promised to keep her updated. Thank her for her concern. I have a sudden need to see Simone, so I'm going to go. I'm going to drop by the foundation. Okay. I want you to beat me if there's any change, any change. Okay? I will. I will. All right, now a little bit. You hang tough, okay? He's okay. gonna pull through. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. 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 Alan, um, is it okay if I go see him? I'm gonna take Monica outside for a breath of fresh air. Don't stay too long, okay? okay. I'm glad you're here. Understand, AJ. Ned told Justice that you lost control of the car. That's what he said. Where? Outside our gate. Jason wasn't wearing a seatbelt. That doesn't make any sense. He always wears a seatbelt. I don't know. And Ned's fine. He doesn't even have a scratch on him. I. I... Please. I, I'm just trying to figure out what happened. I guess the airbag saved Ned. And the passenger side didn't have an airbag? The, the car was a convertible, Keisha. The, the top was down. In January? It was a present for Lois from Grandfather. Ned was inside the car. He, he was showing it off, and they, they came looking for me. Jason was thrown from the car. Why were they looking for you? We had a bit of a family scene after Justice left about my drinking. AJ. It 
was ice, the car skidded out on ice. That's what Ned said. Just lost control. I, I don't know anything else. I was, I was too drunk to know anything else. When are you going to stop doing that to yourself? When am I going to stop doing this to everybody else? Never again. I'll never take another drink again. Your parents will be back soon. Try to keep good thoughts. This is hard. This is about the hardest thing I've ever gone through. I know. He knows you love him. Jason, you can't do this. You can't go away. I need you. Can you hear me? You're not allowed to leave me now. I need you so much. Any change? The brain swelling's increased, but only slightly. His vital signs are stable, and, and right now that's good news. Robin. Hi. Thanks for coming. I stopped in last night, but I didn't want to intrude on your family. You could never be an intrusion. And why is all this happening? I'm sorry you have to go through this, too. It's nice of you to say, but it's not about me. Yes, it is. It's about all of us who love him. How's your family? Alan and Monica were here all night. I just came back from driving them home. Grandmother is in denial, and we're trying to keep her there. The old man is in a state of outrage, and for once, I totally agree with him. I just don't get it, you know? Sonny said once about stone and AIDS that things are so arbitrary. When I was brought up, they got as a plan. Is it too much to ask at this point? Why does it seem to come down on every person I love? I'm sorry. I'm doing it again. <laughs> me, me, me. But it's just too much, you know? I'm getting mad, and I don't know what to do with it. He has to come through this. I know. The idea of losing Jason. Of all the people in his family, he's the one I honestly admire. He seems to have been born without rancor. He's always had an amazing sense of perspective. Considering the family he grew up in. He doesn't uh, worship at the altar of money and power. He has this incredible, sound, moral foundation. An anomaly among Quartermains. If Jason dies, I swear something irreplaceable will go out of this family. It's like he's our lifeline to decency. He's the best of us. And in an awful, complicated way, if we lose him, it will be the family's fault. No. How can you say that? There are accidents, and you just happen to drive into one. Nobody blames you. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm just looking for someone to blame. Adrian, I'm so sorry. I 
I know how much you love him. I don't think Jason knows. Felicia and I sat up for hours last night trying to figure this out. Were you there when it happened? No, I... Ned and Jason were out looking for me. I... I'd been drinking, Robin. But you're not anymore, right? No. I was wandering around the grounds. I was totally blitzed. And I passed out at the gatehouse. I didn't even know about the crash until the next morning. <sighs> Must have been an awful thing to wake up to. I think AJ found it a very sobering experience. Yeah, Ned's right. I, I don't think I'm ever going to see or smell alcohol again without thinking about my little brother lying there like that. But it was an accident. Deer and a patch of ice. I was just telling Ned that there's so much chance involved in everything. I appreciate your support. I really do. Well, I love him, too. I've got to go to the house, pick up some mail and newspapers. Does Brenda know? Oh, I didn't even think to call her. You have enough in your mind. I'll tell her. Thank She's you. She's probably going to want to see you, though. Yeah, thank you. That would help. Okay. Sure. I'll be back as soon as I can. That's pretty good, kid. One would almost buy that you'd gotten yourself together. <laughs> 